Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX5 once again. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can create astigmatic lens effect inside Nuke. So before jumping to Nuke, we have to know what is astigmatic lens effect. Basically, astigmatism is a problem in our eye. And if we are doing compositing or if we are making any shot, we need to take care about how realistic approach we can take right so this is a basically a lens imperfection why this happens this happens when light is not focusing on single point inside your camera resulting a stretchy kind of defocus or a stretchy kind of uh, a glow you will find so as you can see over here in these pictures so this is a lens imperfection and that will be the topic of today's video we are going to create it inside new so without wasting any time let's get started okay as you can see over here i am having a scene and this is a uh, rendered from unreal engine and it's not a static image it's a sequence and i did very basic color grading and compositing so if you can see i did this kind of thing just to give a little cinematic hint and what i want i want to add a more realistic glows to this particular scene so you can create astigmatic lens effect by using gd focus node inside nuke also you can take uh, any kind of defocusing node and you can create it basically we have to create a glow or defocus in a stretchy format right there will be n numbers of approach you can take but today we are going to see it from scratch to do that what i want i want to glow my highlights right certain glow, although we are having a glow but let's do it so my final comp is here and i'm going to take a dot node and in that particular dot node i'm going to take keyer so why i'm taking keyer uh, because if i'm glowing something let me take a glow node and if i'm going to take a glow and if i'll try to glow this entire scene will start to glow i don't want that i want to restrict my glow towards my highlights i'll hit a and might be i'll do one over here and i'll double click and i will start restricting my highlights like this and once i am satisfied with that what i will do i will take a node called pre mult right and i will pre multiply it like this and now i will take this glow and in this particular glow what i will do i will just use effects only and if i'm going to merge i'm not having that astigmatic lens effect because i haven't done anything in this particular glow right so i'll use it in plus mode like it's a simple glow to create that thing what i need i need a few transform nodes so what i will do you have to select this node and hit t so automatically your center will be like this you have to take care about that and i will take another transform which will be after my glow so what i will do i will stretch from this transform and i will counter it from with this transform it's little confusing but i'll show you how to do that right so i want to add expression so what i will do i will just go to transform 2 and i will just go over here and i will edit expression so in that particular expression i am having only one result but i don't want that i want x and y separated so i'll click on that particular thing and i'll again go and edit expression so now if you see i am having few expressions like uh, expressions in width and expressions in height so what i want i want my transform to be controlled by this transform means transform 2 must be controlled with transform 1 to do that what i will do i will have my transform 1 and transform 2 if i want to link my transform 1 to transform 2 what i will do i will just go to transform 1 and i will hold control click and drag and i will drop so as soon as i'm going to do that you can easily see i'm having a connection or my this transform is linked with my this transform via expression right so uh, what i will do apart from that just hit alt e to hide that thing now my this transform is controlled by this but suppose that i want to scale in negative axis uh, or like 0.5 so this transform should respond in a different way so to fix that thing what i will do i will just go over here edit expression and if you can see over here my transform one's scale is parented with my transform one right so uh, what i have to do just i have to go over here and i will say one divided by 
parent dot transform one scale and also one divided by parent dot transform one scale so i will divide both the values by one and i'll hit ok so what will happen if i'm going to change let me do one over here if i'm going to scale this down if you can see right so let me scale it like 0.2 might be so what i'm doing i'm just scaling this thing but if we'll see again i'm rescaling that thing in a stretchy way right so what will happen whatever i am doing over here it will counter my scaling right isn't it great so by doing this expression what i will have i will have my this elongated glow and if i am going to see through it if you can see i am having similar result like i am having my glow stretched out it's too much so of course i will go over here might be i will do uh, 0.25 or 0.3 might be so if you can see however you you want you have to take care about that also i will go over here and i will lower down my mix so you will have a subtle effect if you can see if i can compare can you see that my elongated kind of glow can you see that it's isn't it great now if you want to control rotation as well you can do it as well right so to control my rotation what i will do i will take another transform node after this transform which is transform 3 and also i will take another transform after my transform 2 so transform 3 and transform 4 will be responsible for my rotation now to connect that thing what i will do i will just double click on transform 3 and transform 4 and i will hold my hold down control and i will click my rotation and i'll connect my rotation to my transform force rotation so now if i'm going to hit alt e if you can see my transform 4 is connected to my transform 3 via expression now my rotation is controlled so what i will do i will go over here and if i'm going to rotate that thing like transform 3 let me put one over here and if i'm going to rotate it my this thing will be rotated but what i have to do i have to counter that thing so i will go over here in transform 4 and i will go and i'll hit edit expression and what i have to do just i have to add a negative sign in transform 3 so let's use it so now what i will do i will just show you my this thing so this is again rotation control and this is again rotation control so if you can see if i'm going over here i am having rotation of four and over here rotation is minus four right can you see that and now if i want to change anything i will go might be i'll go to glow and might be i'll start reducing my glow and if you can see it's coming pretty nice if you want to rotate it of course you can go over here and you can start rotating that thing can you see that so it's rotating if you want to give an angle you can do it like this right if you want another streak so what you will do just you have to go control c control v another streak I'm, I'm talking about and also what i will do i will go over here and probably i will add that thing might be over here i'll add or in in main streak i'll add so i'll just do a plus might be and i can rotate it in a different format like this might be i'll rotate like horizontal 90 degree might be you never know so if you can see i am having this streak which is diagonal and also i am having this streak which is vertical so now if you can see i am having a good result of course you are having too much over here so might be i'll go over here and i'll reduce this thing also i will go over here might be i can reduce this thing as well so but if i have to show you i can just see it's coming out pretty nicely more realism of course you need to control this thing i don't want blown out so might be i can do it in a different way but if you can see i'm having uh my astigmatic lens effect pretty nicely so i think you have learned something new today and if you are thinking that you are learning something new from this video Please don't forget to like this video, share this video and if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. With this said, this is VFX Vibe signing off. Have a good day.